This is exciting. So welcome to the journey. I am very excited for each of you and for this chance for us to work together. Already there is a lot of hype and buzz around each and every one of you. People are excited about the fellows that have been selected. I've been getting good feedback from folks in the community. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I know them. I know all of them. Oh yeah, that's a good group of people. I know them. So that's, I just heard from somebody else today. So people are impressed. At least it's not one of those things where people are like, why they pick them? People have been saying that it made sense in many instances. So that's the good news of this thing. So tonight we're going to be talking about this journey of co-creation. I just had a meeting with the host organizations. And so part of it was to teach them another way of being. Um, traditionally with fellowships, and so let me, so by way of background, traditionally by way of fellowships, based on the system of arts, the way it exists, fellowships are usually an elite activity where arts organizations specifically select their fellows. And when it comes to this thing called the arts and working in the arts, once you have some fellowships under your belt, you have a better opportunity of getting hired, getting a chance to exhibit or getting into other organizations but it's very hard to get your first fellowship. So it's one of those things where people don't often get fellowships. It's a very small pool of people that even get that opportunity. So the fact that through the Artists of Color Accelerate Project, you all get fellowships in the organizations you're getting fellowships in, right now it's on the resume, right now you're, you're being a fellow, right now you're on that official arts business track, which is a hard track for people of color to ever get on. And the landscape study that Hartford Foundation produced showed that there are many barriers to keep people of color from really excelling and succeeding in the arts from the standpoint of economics, not from the standpoint of creativity, because people of color have been creative without any money for the longest. We know how to do that, but we want to be creative with some money instead of creative without money. Hey, man, let me get an amen to that. Thank you. <laughs> and so with this fellowship, it's a different structure because this project um, is rooted in the idea of liberation and transformation. And it's with the mindset of not putting artists in a position where they are oppressed by a bound organization. So this model is based on the artist being center. In other words, you, as you are placed within these organizations, you're co-creating the project, but in many ways you take the lead. So you're not coming to them as an unformed person that's never been in the business. You're coming to them in many ways like a consultant instead of like an intern. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you need to know that you're coming in like a consultant and not like an intern. So a lot of us know how to be interns, but as a consultant, it is to say, you are coming into the organization with your own wisdom, your own point of view, and your own art form. And so you come in as a complete vessel to that organization where they're going to learn from you and you're going to learn from them. So that's why it's co-creation. Does that make sense? So that's a different approach. So we had to really explain that to the host organizations because they're used to the other model where they have an intern that they train and they got to put them at a desk. They got to watch how many hours they work, make sure they don't take too long a lunch break. You know what I'm talking about? This is not that. So that's why we had the meeting with them first to understand this model called co-creation centered on the artists. So we are glad to see each and every one of you here.